Listen up, TPS fans. We're doing a giveaway. We're giving away either Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Step one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Step two, this video needs 5,000 likes. Once we reach 5,000 likes, we give away a copy of Madden 18 or NBA 2K18. Before we give away the game, you need to comment because we'll pick a random winner from the comments. The winners will be announced on the TPS Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram social media pages. So follow there as well. Good luck, TPSers. Though the Super Bowl rightfully gets a lot of hype, the conference championship game shouldn't be slept on. With legendary players, dramatic finishes, game-winning plays, and heartbreaking moments, the conference championships have provided some of the best games in football history. I'm Daquan Young, and today we look at the top 10 conference championship games in NFL history. And a big shout out to Figaro Bro for suggesting this video. Figaro Bro, Figaro Bro. Number 10, the 1999 NFC Championship. It was a game of contrast in the 1999 NFC Championship. Against Derrick Brooks and the Warren Sapp led Buccaneers, the Rams' greatest show on turf squeaked by in this classic. On the first play of the game, Rams MVP Kurt Warner was intercepted and the tone of the game was set. Featuring a combined five lost turnovers, this classic is remembered for its controversial finish. Trailing 11-6 in the final minutes and driving, the Bucks' Bertie Manuel looked to have made a great catch for a first down in Rams territory. Yet, the officials overturned the call and two plays later, the Rams had stopped Tampa Bay's drive and their season. Number nine, the 1983 NFC Championship. It was one of the few times in league history that Joe Montana wasn't enough for a victory. Behind John Riggins, top-seeded Washington built a 21-0 lead entering the fourth quarter. Just as Washington fans were making plans for the Super Bowl, the 49ers mounted a furious comeback to tie the score. Yet, the San Francisco defense had no answer for Washington on the final drive. Riggins and Joe Theismann led a 13-play, six-minute drive to set up a game-winning field goal. Montana got the ball back in the final minutes, but was intercepted, sealing the Washington win. Number eight, the 1986 AFC Championship. The game, simply referred to as the drive, John Elway and the Broncos stunned the Browns in the 1986 AFC Championship. As of 2017, this contest is the only AFC Championship game to have gone into overtime. Cleveland's defense shut down Elway the entire game, allowing less than 180 yards passing and intercepting the Denver quarterback. Elway redeemed himself, though, on his final drive in regulation. With five minutes remaining at his own two-yard line, Elway orchestrated a game-time drive with 37 seconds left. Denver won in overtime, and in the eyes of many, Elway established himself as one of the best ever. Number seven, the 2013 NFC Championship. While their comeback in the 2014 NFC Championship against the Packers was one of the best ever, we thought the Seahawks' win in 2013 was even more impressive. Featuring two of the top defenses in the league, Seattle met divisional rival San Francisco in its heavyweight battle. With dual threat passers Russell Wilson and Colin Kaepernick leading offensively, it was the defenses that shined. After being outscored 20-7 in the second half, the 49ers rallied for one last drive for the lead. Yet Kaepernick's pass was tipped by Seattle's Richard Sherman in the end zone and intercepted by Malcolm Smith, sending the Seahawks to their second Super Bowl as a franchise. Number six, the 1990 NFC Championship. It was supposed to be a culmination for the San Francisco 49ers, who were trying to become the first team since Lombardi's Packers to three-peat. Yet, the Giants ended San Francisco's dream season in this heavyweight matchup. New York held Joe Montana's offense to just one touchdown in the game, but the legendary quarterback didn't even finish the game due to a devastating hit by Leonard Marshall. The 49ers still had a chance to win, but coughed it up when running back Roger Craig lost a fumble with less than three minutes remaining. New York drove down the field in the final minutes and kicked the game-winning field goal. Number five, the 1967 NFL Championship. Coined the Ice Bowl, the 1967 NFL Championship game decided who was going to represent the league against the AFL's champion in the second Super Bowl. In a rematch of the previous season's championship game, which Green Bay won, Vince Lombardi's Packers once again bested Tom Landry's Dallas Cowboys. With game temperatures at minus 15 degrees, this classic went down to the wire. Trailing 17 to 14 in the final minutes of the fourth quarter, Packers legend Bart Starr led Green Bay to the winning score, culminating with a game-winning quarterback sneak with 16 seconds left and no timeouts remain. Number four, the 1987 AFC Championship. Simply referred to as the fumble, the 1987 AFC Championship was a rematch of the previous year's championship game between the Broncos and the Browns. 
After trailing at one point 21-3, Browns passer Bernie Kosar led a furious second half comeback. By the midpoint of the fourth quarter, the score was tied at 31 points. After John Elway put the Broncos ahead with the touchdown pass, the Browns rallied for the equalizer in the final minutes. Yet, Cleveland running back Ernest Biner, who was looking for his third touchdown, was stripped by Denver's Jeremiah Castile and lost the ball near the goal line. Denver went back to the Super Bowl, and Cleveland again suffered. Number 3. The 1998 NFC Championship In what was going to be a culmination for the 15-1 Minnesota Vikings, the Atlanta Falcons won the 1998 NFC Championship and one of the biggest upsets in league history. One of the greatest offenses ever assembled, the Vikings, were undone by usually surefire kicker Gary Anderson. After a perfect regular season, Anderson missed an almost game clinching field goal, which would have gotten the Vikings a 10 point lead with less than three minutes left. Led by quarterback Chris Chandler, Atlanta tied the score to force overtime. In the extra period, Atlanta's Morton Anderson made the kick to send the Falcons to the Super Bowl. Number two, the 2006 AFC Championship. Featuring arguably the two greatest quarterbacks of all time, Peyton Manning and Tom Brady, the 2006 AFC Championship was won for the ages. At one point, Manning and the Colts were trailing 21-3, and it looked as if Indianapolis was once again going to fall to Bill Belichick and Brady's Patriots. Yet, Manning led an improbable second half comeback to beat New England. It was the first time Manning's Colts had beaten the Pats in six attempts. The Colts went on to defeat the Chicago Bears in Super Bowl 41 for their first championship since 1970. Number one, the 1981 NFC Championship. The game referred to as the catch the 1981 NFC Championship game was one of the best games in football history. A changing of the guard, the game featured Tom Landry's Cowboys trying to make another run to the Super Bowl against the upstart 49ers led by Bill Walsh and Joe Montana. Trailing 27-21 with less than five minutes remaining, overcoming three interceptions, Montana led San Francisco on an 83-yard drive, which culminated in the game-winning touchdown pass to Dwight Clark. The 49ers went on to begin their 80s dynasty, and the legendary Landry never returned to the NFC Championship game. Do you think there was a conference championship game we should have included in our rankings? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we truly appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.